Today we're going to install this Wraith Prism Cooler onto this motherboard. Got a Ryzen 5600X. That's a brand new Wraith cooler. So it comes with two cables for the RGB, and this is for to power the fan. So let's have a look. That's the paste that it comes with, pre-applied. That's what it looks like, grey. If you're wondering what a brand new cooler looks like. So, you position it so that the logo, yeah, is in the top right corner of your board. You can only fit it two ways, so that the unclamping side goes into this mount, and the clamping one, yeah, goes onto the other side. So first I'll obviously do the unclamping side. So this is the cooler. First, I'm going to position the unclamping side, latch it on, and then lower it on top of the CPU. Yeah, so it's resting on top. So far so good. Next we're going to do the other side which is the clamping side. Okay so this is the clamping side. So we're going to, it's loose, we're going to position this so it goes over. You might have to push down a little bit to get some, yeah, get the latch over the hook. Just push down. Yeah. Now apply some force on top and push the lever all the way so it's fully tight and locks in place like so and if everything's good you should be able to lift the motherboard off with your cooler attached. That's how you attach a Wraith Prism cooler, stock cooler. RGB, you can't make it any easier. Hook on this side, uh, hook with latch, and then just tighten the the lever in the lock. Yeah. Once you've done it, you want to make sure that it is on by lifting it up. Check it around; it shouldn't come off. That's it, and that's the CPU cooler attached to the CPU. So next is we attach the fan to the motherboard. You've got two there, CPU fan and CPU fan optional. So you can have two. They only go one way. Just latch it in. Four pin connector. That's it. CPU fan and CPU optional. And next will be for the RGB, it's got two uh, cables. Uh, I don't think you need to attach both. You can just attach the USB, which is this one, 3 pin, rather than the 12 volt. Yeah. You don't have to attach both the competing systems. This is going to use ASUS software and this is going to use a Cooler Master. So use the RGB one. So how do you attach this? You find the little notch. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Got two there. So you want to open one. So I'll next attach the RGB cable, 3 pin there to a free USB slot. Straightforward, well, it can only be fitted one way. It comes with a second cable for a 12 volt, but I don't think you need to install both. 
depending on what software you're using. If it's ASUS, then you use the 12 volt. If it's Cooler Master, then you use the three pin. That'll power the RGB. There's one thing I forgot to mention about the cooler, and that's a little switch here between high and low, that's fan speed. So, click it that way you get high, set it that way you get low. Yeah, it's a small detail. Yeah, system is on and that should come on if everything is good to go. Oh, there we go. 36 degrees, and it's cooling down quick. There you go, the fans are on. GPU and CPU, and the temperatures drop fairly quickly 26 degrees idle it's got no operating system anything plugged in just the main components on this motherboard memory CPU and GPU